Hi, Tim Unkert here. In this video, I'm going to create a Python program that tells you what your heart rate zones are based on a guesstimate of your max heart rate based on your age. So it won't be very accurate, but I figured it would be something we could automate the process. And I was thinking this as I was going for a walk this morning, I'm trying to get in a little bit better shape. What zone should I be in? Should I speed up, slow down, etc. Okay. Um, the other thing, you notice I've been using Emacs a lot lately because it has the Doom themes and it's the week of Halloween. But then on GitHub, I found this Doom 1 Vim theme. And I think I may have to do Vim. Still not sure on that one. Okay. Anyways, so let's look at heart rate zones based on max heart rate. Let's do a little research first. All right, so this is what Google says. So uh, very light is 50 to 60%. We'll say that's zone two or zone one. Zone two is 60 to 70%. Zone three is moderate and uh, that's 70 to 80%. Zone four, four is a hard effort, 80 to 90%. And then I'm assuming zone five is 90 to 100%. Okay, and let's uh, do a search on max heart rate based on age. Subtract your age from 220. Okay, and there was another thing I saw, max heart rate based on resting heart rate. Let's see that. Let's see what the Google says. Ah, it still says subtract your age from 220. Okay. All right, so let's start with a, uh, well, let's start making a Python program. So I'm going to create a Python program called heart rate zones um, underscore yt.py. And we'll start, I wanna do colo uh, doom one, okay? Because it's the Halloween month. Um, all right, so I'm going to create a class and let's call that class um, heart rate zones. And let's instantiate the class. And we're going to take in the self and then uh, the age. Okay. And we'll say self.age equals age. Okay. That's it for that. Uh, method. And then we're going to figure out the max heart rate. So let's call this function max heart rate. We'll pass in the self and we'll say uh, max max rate equals um, actually let's, let's max HR rate equals uh, 220 minus self.age, and we're going to return uh, max heart rate, okay? All right, and then um, we'll create a method for each zone uh, for the lower and upper part of the zone. Well, no, not necessarily. Uh, let's do lower zone one. Pass in the self, and we'll say um, lower zone one was 60%. Let's check. Let's check the Google. What does it say? Uh, 50 to 60%. So 50 to 60%. Okay. All right. So the um, lower limit uh, for zone one is going to equal... Um, Yeah, you know what I'll do? I'll start a function creating the lower limits for each of these functions or zones. That's good. Okay, so lower limit z zone one is going to equal um, this function max heart rate uh, times 0 0.50. And we're gonna return the lower uh, limit one, or 
or uh, yeah, we're going to return that. Okay, that's that function. Now we're going to create a function. Um, let's call it lower zone two. So that's going to be. Um, so if you see it here, it says 50 to 60 percent, then 60 to 70 percent. I'm going to have to modify this a little bit and make it 61 to 70 percent. Okay. Um, Nah, nah, let's not do that. Let's just keep it 60%. All right, so I'm going to say the lower limit zone 2 equals uh, the max heart rate. That uh, function. And we got to do self. Because we're using a the results of a method um, for another method in the class. Okay, times 0 0.60, and then let's return the lower uh, limit zone 2. All right, now we have another function, uh, another method, um, lower zone 3, pass in self again, and we'll say uh, lower limit zone 3 is going to equal self dot max heart rate times 0 0.70, and we'll return the lower uh, limit zone three. Okay, I'm doing that, the selecting by using control N, uh, just so I don't have to type it. Okay, and then we're gonna have a lower zone four, pass in the self, and we'll say lower limit zone four, equals self dot uh, then max heart rate times 0 0.80 and oops we want to return that um, okay and then we're going to have lower zone five we'll pass in the self and we'll say lower limit zone five equals um, self self dot max heart rate uh, times 0 0.90 and we'll return lower limit zone five okay and that's going to be our class and um, what we're going to do is so we want to create a uh, new object a new heart rate zones so and we want to pass in our age so uh, to do that um, i'm going to say uh, my my zones equals um, heart rate zones i'm going to pass in my age which is 45 okay and then um, I'm gonna start to print out um, my ranges so I'm gonna have a print and use an F string uh, my range for zone one is and then we're going to call the method um, lower zone one to it's going to be lower zone two <laughs> i'm getting really lazy with typing um beats per minute or bpm all right okay uh close that out Let me move this up here so you can see that i'm closing out my parentheses there and then um Okay, and I'm just yank, yanking, pasting. So let's. Okay, so let's do this is going to be lower zone two to lower zone three, lower zone three to lower zone four, lower zone four to 
lower zone five, oops, lower zone five, lower zone five, two. Now what we want to get is um, and well, I'm going to have to do my zones dot these. Well, so just bear with me to max heart rate. And also, whoops, also put um, uh, parentheses at the bottom of that. I can probably do that with a macro. So let's do uh, QW and then zero to go to the starter line. Um, I'm going to do the first occurrence of the squiggly brackets, go over one, insert. I could have just done A, I guess, but, um, and then do uh, my underscore zones dot this, then escape zero, uh, first occurrence of the closing squirrely brackets, uh, insert, um, then do that, escape zero, uh, second occurrence of the opening squiggly brackets, um, A to insert after the bracket, uh, my underscore zones dot, okay, escape, zero, uh, second occurrence of the closing squiggly brackets, insert, okay, uh, escape, down a line, end the macro. Do that four at W. Okay, so that should be good. Save it. All right. Uh, let's open a terminal and let's run it. Hopefully we won't get any error. So I'm going to do Python three heart rate zones underscore yt.py. And we do have an error. Okay, so an error in... Uh, Line 10, line 7, max heart rate is not defined. Okay, let's figure out where we messed up. Oh. Yeah, we got to return max HR rate. Well, it's good to see. Do a little debugging, uh, see where the air comes up. Okay, let's now run this again. Okay, cool. Except that... Um, so I've got the, my heart rates here, and we see that it says my max heart rate is 175. I think it might be a little higher than that, but, um, you know, again, this is just an estimate. So, uh, but the one thing I want to clean this up is we got this 0.4949, blah, 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 blah. Um, we want to clean these up. Okay, so I am going to now go back to the bottom here, and... Um, Oh, actually, let's go to the top and import math and then go back to the bottom. And now for each of these, I want um, to pass in the round. So I want to round it to one decimal point. So I'm going to do QW, start a macro recording on W, zero to make sure I'm at the start of the line. And the first occurrence of uh, the opening brackets, A to insert after. Um, and then I'm going to look something up for just a moment, just to reference it. Is it math.round Python? Is that it? Oh, it's just round. So actually, I don't think I need the import math. Cool. Uh, let me quit this macro. Uh, and just go back to the top for a minute. We'll delete that, delete that. Um, and then we'll go back, uh, go back to the bottom here. Okay. Start my macro again, recording a W zero to get to the start of the line. One F to go to the opening brackets here. And then just, uh, use the round method. So I want to insert round um, 
Okay, and then I want to escape. Zero, start of the line. Uh, first occurrence of the closing brackets. Um, insert here. And then one place. Okay. Uh, zero to go back to the start of the line. Second occurrence of the opening closing bracket. Um, a to insert right after the line. So round right after the bracket. Uh, escape zero to go back to the start. Second occurrence of the closing bracket. Um, I to insert comma one. Close my parentheses. Escape J to go down. Uh, just go zero back to the start line. Q in the macro. Um, I'm going to do four at W and uh, hmm. Try that again. Three at W. Uh, it's just. I'm just going to do at W because it's for whatever reason, it's not wanting to do it more than once. Okay. Um, all right. So let me save and hopefully we didn't mess anything up with my silly macros and let's run this again. Okay. And it came out the way we wanted it to. Um, so uh, I've got my heart rate zones. If I want to go back and let's say I pretend I'm younger uh, we'll go up here and let's say I'll drop 20 years. All right, save it uh, and let's run it. Now I can go up to 195. Nice. Um, but, you know, let's say I get a little bit older uh, and then run it. I'm actually pretty, pretty limited. At this point, let's, let's take my parents. Um, they are 77. So run it. Wow. My dad can only go up to 143. According to this, it's it's just an estimate based on max heart rate. These aren't super accurate. Anyways, I hope this, uh, this uh, video gave you a bit of an idea of... Um, programming of Python to automate some things that you think of maybe while you're going for a walk or whatever. Um, it's a pretty cool programming language and that you can easily write up a little script that um, will save you some work instead of you having to type out the calculator stuff. Um, anyways, uh, thanks for watching. If you did like this video, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications as it really helps the channel grow. And if you've already subscribed, I Thank you very much, and I hope to see you either way in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.